In mathematics and computer science, currying is the technique of translating the evaluation of a function that takes multiple arguments into evaluating a sequence of functions, each with a single argument. For example, a function that takes two arguments, one from x and one from y, and produces outputs in z, by currying is translated into a function that takes a single argument from x and produces as outputs functions from y to z. Currying is related to, but not the same as, partial application. Currying is useful in both practical and theoretical settings. In functional programming languages, and many others, it provides a way of automatically managing how arguments are passed to functions and exceptions. In theoretical computer science, it provides a way to study functions with multiple arguments in simpler theoretical models which provide only one argument. The most general setting for the strict notion of currying and uncurrying is in the closed monoidal categories, which underpins a vast generalization of the Curry-Howard correspondence of proofs and programs to a correspondence with many other structures, including quantum mechanics, cobordisms and string theory. It was introduced by Gottlob Frege, developed by Moses Schoenfinkel and further developed by Haskell Curry, uncurrying is the dual transformation to currying, and can be seen as a form of defunctionalization. It takes a function f f whose return value is another function g g and yields a new function f f that takes as parameters the arguments for both f display style f and g display style g and returns as a result the application of f display style f and subsequently g display style g to those arguments the process can be iterated topic motivation Currying provides a way for working with functions that take multiple arguments, and using them in frameworks where functions might take only one argument. For example, some analytical techniques can only be applied to functions with a single argument. Practical functions frequently take more arguments than this. Fred showed that it was sufficient to provide solutions for the single argument case, as it was possible to transform a function with multiple arguments into a chain of single argument functions instead. This transformation is the process now known as currying. All ordinary functions that might typically be encountered in mathematical analysis or in computer programming can be curried. However, there are categories in which currying is not possible. The most general categories which allow currying are the closed monoidal categories. Some programming languages almost always use curried functions to achieve multiple arguments, notable examples are ML and Haskell, where in both cases all functions have exactly one argument. This property is inherited from lambda calculus, where multi-argument functions are usually represented in curried form. Currying is related to, but not the same as partial application. In practice, the programming technique of closures can be used to perform partial application and a kind of currying, by hiding arguments in an environment that travels with the curried function. Illustration Suppose we have a function f r times r r Display style f math b r times math b r to math b r, which takes two real arguments and outputs real numbers, and it is defined by f x y equals x plus y two. Display style f x y equals x plus y caret two. Currying translates this into a function. H display style H which takes a single real argument and outputs functions from R display style math B R to R display style math B R in symbols H R R R display style H math B R to math B R caret math B R where R R 
Display style math b r caret math b r denotes the set of all functions that take a single real argument and produce real outputs. For every real number x display style x define the function h x r r display style h underscore x math b r to math b r by h x y equals x plus y 2 display style h underscore x y equals x plus y caret 2 and then define the function h r r r display style h math b r to math b r caret math b r by h x equals h x display style h x equals h underscore x so for instance h 2 display style h 2 is the function that sends its real argument y display style y to the output 2 plus y 2 display style 2 plus y caret 2 or h 2 y equals h 2 y equals 2 plus y 2 display style h 2 y equals h underscore 2 y equals 2 plus y caret 2 we see that in general h x y equals x plus y 2 equals f x y display style h x y equals x plus y caret 2 equals f x y so that the original function f display style f and its Korean h display style h convey exactly the same information in this situation we also write curry f equals h display style text curry f equals h this also works for functions with more than two arguments if f display style f were a function of three arguments f x y z display style f x y z its Korean h display style h would have the property f x y z equals h x y z display style f x y z equals h x y z topic history the name korean coined by christopher strachey in 1967 is a reference to logician haskell curry the alternative name shunfinkelization has been proposed as a reference to moses shunfinkel in the mathematical context, the principle can be traced back to work in 1893 by Frege. Topic: <laughs> Definition. Currying is most easily understood by starting with an informal definition, which can then be molded to fit many different domains. First, there is some notation to be established. The notation x y Display style x to y denotes all functions from x display style x to y display style y if f display style f is such a function we write f x y display style f colon x to y let x times y 
Display style x times y. Denote the ordered pairs of the elements of x. Display style x and y. Display style y. Respectively, that is the Cartesian product of x. Display style x and y. Display style y. Here, x. Display style x and y display style y may be sets or they may be types or they may be other kinds of objects as explored below given a function f x times y z display style f colon x times y to z korean constructs a new function h x y Z display style h colon x to y to z that is h display style h takes an argument from x display style x and returns a function that maps y display style y to z display style z it is defined by h x Y equals F X Y display style H X Y equals F X Y for X display style X from X display style X and Y display style Y from Y display style Y we then also write curry f equals h display style text curry f equals h uncurrying is the reverse transformation and is most easily understood in terms of its right adjoint the function apply display style operator name apply topic set theory In set theory, the notation y x display style y caret x is used to denote the set of functions from the set x display style x to the set y display style y. Currying is the natural bijection between the set a b times c. Display style a caret b times c of functions from b times c. Display style b times c to a display style a and the set a c b display style a caret c caret b of functions from b. Display style b to the set of functions from c. Display style c to a. Display style a in symbols a b times c a c b. Display style a caret b times c kong a caret c caret b. Indeed, it is this natural bijection that justifies the exponential notation for the set of functions. As is the case in all instances of currying, the formula above describes an adjoint pair of functors for every fixed set c. Display style c. The functor b b times c. Display style b maps to b times c is left adjoint to the functor a a c display style a maps to a caret c in the category of sets the object y x display style y caret x is called the exponential object topic function spaces 
In the theory of function spaces, such as in functional analysis or homotopy theory, one is commonly interested in continuous functions between topological spaces. One writes home x y display style text home x y the home functor for the set of all functions from x display style x to y display style y and uses the notation y x display style y caret x to denote the subset of continuous functions here curry display style text curry is the bijection curry home x times y z home x home y z display style text curry text home x times y z to text home x text home y z while uncurrying is the inverse map. If the set y x display style y caret x of continuous functions from x display style x to y display style y is given the compact open topology, and if the space y display style y is locally compact Hausdorff, then Curry Z X times Y Z Y X Display style text curry Z carrot X times Y to Z carrot Y carrot X is a homeomorphism. This is also the case when X Display style X Y Display style Y and Y X display style Y caret X are canonized. Although there are more cases, one useful corollary is that a function is continuous if and only if its curried form is continuous. Another important result is that the application map, usually called evaluation, in this context, is continuous. Note that eval is a strictly different concept in computer science. That is, eval, y x times x y f x f x display style begin aligned and an text eval, y caret x times x to y and an f x mapsto f x end aligned is continuous when y x display style y caret x is compact open and y display style y locally compact Hausdorff. These two results are central for establishing the continuity of homotopy, i.e., when x display style x is the unit interval i display style i so that z i times y z y i display style z caret i times y kong z caret y caret i can the thought of as either a homotopy of two functions from y display style y to z display style z or equivalently a single continuous path in z y display style z caret y topic algebraic topology In algebraic topology, currying serves as an example of Ekman-Hilton duality, and, as such, plays an important role in a variety of different settings. For example, loop space is adjoint to reduced suspensions, this is commonly written as sigma x z x omega z display style sigma x z approxic x omega z where a B display style A B is the set of homotopy classes of maps A B display style A right arrow B and sigma A display style sigma A is the suspension of A and omega A display style omega A 
is the loop space of A in essence, the suspension sigma x display style sigma x can be seen as the Cartesian product of x display style x with the unit interval modulo an equivalence relation to turn the interval into a loop. The curried form then maps the space x display style x to the space of functions from loops into z display style z that is from x display style x into omega z display style omega z then curry display style text curry is the adjoint functor that maps suspensions to loop spaces, and uncurrying is the dual. The duality between the mapping cone and the mapping fiber, cofibration and fibration, can be understood as a form of currying, which in turn leads to the duality of the long exact and coexact PUP sequences. In homological algebra, the relationship between currying and uncurrying is known as tensor homo junction. Here, an interesting twist arises, the home functor and the tensor product functor might not lift to an exact sequence, this leads to the definition of the ext functor and the tor functor. <laughs> Domain theory In order theory, that is, the theory of lattices of partially ordered sets Curry Curry is a continuous function when the lattice is given the Scott topology. Scott continuous functions were first investigated in the attempt to provide a semantics for lambda calculus as ordinary set theory is inadequate to do this. More generally, Scott continuous functions are now studied in domain theory, which encompasses the study of denotational semantics of computer algorithms. Note that the Scott topology is quite different than many common topologies one might encounter in the category of topological spaces. The Scott topology is typically finer, and is not sober. The notion of continuity makes its appearance in homotopy type theory, where, roughly speaking, two computer programs can be considered to be homotopic, i.e., compute the same results, if they can be continuously refactored from one to the other. Topic. Lambda calculi In theoretical computer science, currying provides a way to study functions with multiple arguments in very simple theoretical models, such as the lambda calculus, in which functions only take a single argument. Consider a function f x y taking two arguments, and having the type x times y z display style x times y to z which should be understood to mean that x must have the type x display style x y must have the type y display style y and the function itself returns the type z display style z the curried form of f is defined as curry f equals lambda x lambda y f x y display style text curry f equals lambda x lambda y f x y where lambda display style lambda is the abstractor of lambda calculus. Since Curry takes, as input, functions with the type x times y z display style x times y to z, one concludes that the type of Curry itself is Curry x times y z x y z Display style text curry sad face x times y to z to x to y to z. The operator is often considered right associative, so the curried function type x y z display style x to y to z is often written as x y z display style x to y to z. 
Conversely, function application is considered to be left associative, so that f x y display style f x y is equivalent to curry f x y equals curry f x y display style text curry f x y equals text curry f x y that is the parentheses are not required to disambiguate the order of the application Curried functions may be used in any programming language that supports closures, however, uncurried functions are generally preferred for efficiency reasons, since the overhead of partial application and closure creation can then be avoided for most function calls. <laughs> Type theory In type theory, the general idea of a type system in computer science is formalized into a specific algebra of types. For example, when writing f x y display style f colon x to y, the intent is that x display style x and y display style y are types, while the arrow display style to is a type constructor specifically the function type or arrow type similarly the cartesian product x times y display style x times y of types is constructed by the product type constructor times display style times the type theoretical approach is expressed in programming languages such as ML and the languages derived from and inspired by it, CAML, Haskell and F Sharp. The type theoretical approach provides a natural complement to the language of category theory, as discussed below. This is because categories, and specifically, monoidal categories, have an internal language, with simply typed lambda calculus being the most prominent example of such a language. It is important in this context, because it can be built from a single type constructor, the arrow type. Currying then endows the language with a natural product type. The correspondence between objects in categories and types then allows programming languages to be reinterpreted as logics via Curry-Howard correspondence, and as other types of mathematical systems, as explored further, below. Logic. Under the Curry-Howard correspondence, the existence of currying and uncurrying is equivalent to the logical theorem a b c a b c display style a land b to c left right arrow a to b to c as tuples product type corresponds to conjunction in logic, and function type corresponds to implication. The exponential object q P display style q caret p in the category of hating algebras is normally written as material implication p q display style p to q distributive hating algebras are boolean algebras and the exponential object has the explicit form p q display style neg p lor q thus making it clear that the exponential object really is material implication. Category theory The above notions of currying and uncurrying find their most general, abstract statement in category theory. Currying is a universal property of an exponential object, and gives rise to an adjunction in Cartesian closed categories. That is, there is a natural isomorphism between the morphisms from a binary product f x times y z display style f colon x times y to z and the morphisms to an exponential object g x z y display style g colon x to z caret y this generalizes to a broader result in closed monoidal categories. Currying is the statement that the tensor product and the internal home are adjoint functors, that is, for every object 
B display style B there is a natural isomorphism H o M a B C H o M a B C Display style mathem home o o times b c kong mathem home a b right arrow c. Here home denotes the external home functor of all morphisms in the category, while b c display style b right arrow c denotes the internal home functor in the closed monoidal category. For the category of sets, the two are the same. When the product is the Cartesian product, then the internal home b C display style b right arrow c becomes the exponential object c b display style c caret b. Korean can break down in one of two ways. One is if a category is not closed and thus lacks an internal home functor, possibly because there is more than one choice for such a functor. Another way is if it is not monoidal and thus lacks a product, that is, lacks a way of writing down pairs of objects. Categories that do have both products and internal homs are exactly the closed monoidal categories. The setting of Cartesian closed categories is sufficient for the discussion of classical logic. The more general setting of closed monoidal categories is suitable for quantum computation. The difference between these two is that the product for Cartesian categories, such as the category of sets, complete partial orders, or hating algebras, is just the Cartesian product. It is interpreted as an ordered pair of items or a list. Simply typed lambda calculus is the internal language of Cartesian closed categories, and it is for this reason that pairs and lists are the primary types in the type theory of Lisp, Scheme and many functional programming languages. By contrast, the product for monoidal categories such as Hilbert space and the vector spaces of functional analysis is the tensor product. The internal language of such categories is linear logic, a form of quantum logic. The corresponding type system is the linear type system. Such categories are suitable for describing entangled quantum states, and, more generally, allow a vast generalization of the Curry-Howard correspondence to quantum mechanics, to cobordisms in algebraic topology, and to string theory. The linear type system, and linear logic are useful for describing synchronization primitives, such as mutual exclusion locks, and the operation of vending machines. Contrast with partial function application Currying and partial function application are often conflated. Reference is a blog. One of the significant differences between the two is that a call to a partially applied function returns the result right away, not another function down the currying chain. This distinction can be illustrated clearly for functions whose arity is greater than 2, given a function of type f x times y times z n display style f colon x times y times z to n Korean produces curry f x y z n display style text curry f colon x to y to z to n that is, while an evaluation of the first function might be represented as f 1 2 3 display style f 1 2 3 evaluation of the curried function would be represented as f curried 1 2 3 display style f underscore text curried 1 2 3 applying each argument in turn to a single argument function returned by the previous invocation. Note that after calling f curried 1 display style f underscore text curried 1 we are left with a function that takes a single argument and returns another function, not a function that takes two arguments. In contrast, partial function application refers to the process of fixing a number of arguments to a function, producing another function of smaller arity. Given the definition of f, display style f above, we might fix or bind the first argument, producing a function of type partial 
f y times z n display style text partial f colon y times z to n evaluation of this function might be represented as f partial 2 3 display style f underscore text partial 2 3 note that the result of partial function application in this case is a function that takes two arguments intuitively partial function application says if you fix the first argument of the function you get a function of the remaining arguments for example, if function div stands for the division operation x, y, then div with the parameter x fixed at 1 i.e., div 1 is another function, the same as the function inv that returns the multiplicative inverse of its argument, defined by inv y equals 1, y. The practical motivation for partial application is that very often the functions obtained by supplying some but not all of the arguments to a function are useful, for example, many languages have a function or operator similar to plus underscore one. Partial application makes it easy to define these functions, for example by creating a function that represents the addition operator with one bound as its first argument. Partial application can be seen as evaluating a curried function at a fixed point, e.g. given f x times y times z n display style f colon x times y times z to n and a element of x display style a in x then curry partial f a y Z equals curry f a y z display style text curry text partial f underscore a y z equals text curry f a y z or simply partial f a equals curry one f a display style text partial f underscore a equals text curry underscore one f a where curry one display style text curry underscore one curry's f's first parameter. Thus, partial application is reduced to a curried function at a fixed point. Further, a curried function at a fixed point is trivially a partial application. Thus, by reduction, a curried function at a fixed point is a partial application. For further evidence, note that, given any function f x y display style f x y a function g y x display style g y x may be defined such that g y x equals f x y display style g y x equals f x y thus any partial application may be reduced to a single curry operation as such curry is more suitably defined as an operation which in many theoretical cases is often applied recursively but which is theoretically indistinguishable when considered as an operation from a partial application so, a partial application can be defined as the objective result of a single application of the Curry operator on some ordering of the inputs of some function. See also Tensor Homa junction Lazy evaluation Closure computer science SMN theorem Closed monoidal category equals equals notes <laughs>